Hello my chariots, welcome back to my channel. This is the monthly reading for Pisces. Pisces, welcome back. This is for January 2021. I can't believe we're starting the new year already, uh, but I think everybody is ready to leave 2020 behind and start fresh. So with that being said, Pisces, what we're going to do today is we're going to take a look at your love, your life, and your career and finances and see how you're starting out 2021, okay? So I'm going to pull some tarot cards and then a bunch of oracle cards and we will see what's in store for you. So with that being said, let's get started. This is for Pisces, January 2021. Love, life, career, finances. Let's see what is in store. What is going on for Pisces? I'm also going to pull from the Spirit of the or Animal Oracle deck three cards as well. This is for Pisces, January 2021. I'm asking Spirit to tell me what they can for Pisces when it comes to love, life, career, and finances. We have the white stag, we have the polar bear, and we have the sea otter. And I'm going to pull some Romance Angel cards. This is for love. Pisces Love, January 2021. We have Flirt. And we have Passion. And I'm going to pull some affirmations for life. I'm a terrible shuffler. I watch people shuffle cards when I'm watching my other readings. And some people shuffle so beautifully. I'm a messy shuffler. But, oh well, it is what it is. Two cards, please, for Pisces. Let's see. And lastly, well, for career and finances, I'm going to pull two cards from the Monology. Full moon and eclipse. And New Moon in Scorpio. And then one overall card from Keepers of the Light. Uh, this is just something at the end that you can reflect on. And this is for Pisces. Pisces, January 2021. We have Diana. Okay. <clears throat> so Pisces, starting out with your love life, you are in the King of Wands energy. The King of Wands is a very optimistic energy. It's full of passion, drive. This is the king. So he is stable. He is in control. He is authoritative. And he can get things done. But this is the king that is overall, he's full of fire. He's full of passion. He knows his desires. He knows what he wants. So you are in a strong position right now, Pisces, where you are just... The white stag, you are the protector. It says here, you are an old soul. Your best friend is nature. Use your intuition to take you where you wanna go. 
Awaken to the powerful force within you. You are meant to create blessings with your magic. So being the protector that you are, Pisces, I feel that you are in this mode of just going with your intuition and enjoying things as they are in nature. We have flirt and passion here. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So Pisces, I feel that the person that you're thinking about right now or the situation, the relationship you're in, whether that's a marriage or a committed relationship or you are just brand new and getting to know someone, you are in this uh, high, passionate, uh, very action-oriented feeling where you are just completely thrilled and happy with the person that's on your mind. You're very passionate for them. You have very deep feelings. I feel there's a deep connection. You're enjoying the playfulness, the flirting, the the sexual banter that goes on between uh, the two of you. Uh, you are just in your power. And uh, I feel here it mentions best friend. I feel that this person is your best friend. You feel very close to them. But your love for life right now couldn't be happier from what the energy that I'm feeling. Uh, when it comes to life and personal growth, we have the justice card here. The number 11. Justice is all about, this is Libra energy, and this is all about balance, peace, harmony, doing what's right, um, finding the truth, being, you know, just in, in the decisions and in, in doing what's good for everybody that's around you. We have polar bear here that reflects this and it says he's the mystic. Know that challenges make you stronger. Have faith when you face adversity. Take time to rest, dream, and renew your strength. Embrace your psychic abilities. You carry the shaman within. So I feel that there's definitely some sort of connection going on with you. You are open to your uh, your spiritual growth. You feel that uh, there's definitely some psychic abilities within you, whether you are an empath or whether you can, uh, whether you are clairvoyant or not, but you definitely have some sort of energy and abilities that you're realizing are more than uh, just the norm. And your affirmation cards here is, the first one is, I find a deeper meaning and personal growth amid the discomfort. So even when you're faced with challenges, when you're faced with uh, adversity, discomfort, uh, you realize that that is something for you. That's a learning experience and that you're growing from this. Also, what we have here, my faith has the power to turn trauma into healing, conflict into growth, and fear into love. So you are just in this state right now that as you are growing, as you are working on the balance within yourself, and that means your spiritual, your emotional, uh, your physical securities that you have all around you right now, anytime you come across challenges, trauma, uh, you know this is a growth for you and that you're learning for it and you embrace it. When it comes to your career and finances, we have the Knight of Cups here. We also have the Sea Otter, which is all about happiness. Be the master of playful living. Release expectations and enjoy every day. Let worry go and instead choose love. Surrender to the waves. Your good destiny of love is sure. And from the Moonology, we also have conclusions are within reach and work through your fears. So uh, what I'm feeling is, is that Pisces, any kind of issues that you have going on right now with your job, your career, work, uh, I think you need to take the Knight of Cups approach. That's the romantic, the happy, the charming knight that moves in, knows what he wants, and moves forward. Uh, we have the Sea Otter here. You need to embrace things with a little bit more ease. You need to be 
a little bit more relaxed and happier. Know that conclusions, anything that has might have caused an issue or a problem for you, uh, any type of uh, whether you are waiting for a promotion or a raise and you feel that you, you know that you're stuck at the moment, know that conclusions are within reach and that you just need to work through those fears. So work through the fears and choose choose happiness instead. Uh, this Knight of Cups, this is all about uh, being very optimistic being very positive, being very charming, and being confident within yourself to know that you can manifest and get whatever it is that you desire. So you just need to work through some of those fears. Overall, Pisces, uh, the card that was pulled for you is Diana, which is focused intention. And it says, think about what you desire set your sights high, expect the best possible outcome. So that's beautiful, Pisces. With your cards here overall, you are being told to set your intentions to what it is that exactly you want, especially when it comes to your love life, when it comes to your personal growth and your career, that as long as you're choosing love and you realize that you're learning from um any of the challenges or conflicts that you face day to day, as long as you do that through happiness, uh, your joyfulness, uh, your passion and your, your lighthearted energy that you carry within yourself, and you continue to work through any fear you have when things aren't going exactly the way as planned, know that you have that power to manifest what it is that you want. So Pisces, I hope this resonated with you in some way. And if so, I will see you again soon. Bye.